Hey guys, it's Christine Line, your wellness coach, your personal trainer, owner of Push Fit Studio. I am super excited to be here as always. I'm always super excited because I'm excited about life. I'm excited to be here with you guys. Love what I do. Love hearing the stories from clients every day of how fitness and clean eating and mindset is totally changing their life. Today we are talking about mindset. As you know, I founded the studio on the fact that number one, you gotta train smart, you gotta train right, okay? Stop wasting your time doing exercises that don't work. If what you're doing isn't working, you need to switch it up. Founded the studio on clean eating principles. After training for years, getting no results, seeing people chronically injured, chronically tired, fat after training and training and training, Nutrition is a key principle as well. What you eat matters, the quality of what you eat matters. Those things are important. Today we're talking about the mindset piece. It's great to train smart, it's great to train hard, it's great to eat clean, but at the end of the day, if you lose the mental game, you will lose the physical game. So that's what we're talking about today. I see this all the time in clients, I see it in athletes, I see it in myself, and you know, the reason I'm teaching this stuff is because I've personally lived it out myself. But one of the things I always hear people is come in, they're full of excuses, right? Whether they come in at a consult to our first time or, you know, sometimes we all hit a road bump during our training, um, our life, that's what happens. Like life throws you curveballs and all of a sudden you hear yourself making excuses, right? So there's a reason I'm standing behind our core values wall right now. These, this is what we're all about. We're about owning it, living with passion, challenging ourselves, committing to excellence, building community, taking responsibility for our actions. And the question I have for you is, what is the story? What are the excuses that you're telling yourself? Where's your head at in this game? Because that matters, right? So I want to talk about your head game in general, just about your fitness and your life. You know, what story are you still telling yourself? Are you still telling yourself, well, I'll try this and see how it works. I'll try this new workout thing or I'll, I'll come to these workouts and, you know, everything else I've tried hasn't really worked, but, you know, maybe this will. And you're coming in with a very skeptical mindset. Is that how you're showing up for your workouts? Are you showing up half out? right? Let's be honest. Some people show up ready to give 100% and other people just show up. Well, showing up is 90% of the work, I'm going to tell you. It's the toughest part is getting up, getting dressed, getting mentally prepared. Showing up is like 80 to 90% of the work, but your attitude, your mindset while you're working out is huge. The reason I'm talking about this is we're in the middle of our Summer Olympics. We have this fun little challenge going on in the studio, and a lot of the challenges are challenging. So you, it's so easy to give up in the middle of this challenge that feels like, oh my God, there's no way I'm going to be able to hit this time or hit this many reps or hit this weight or whatever it is that we're throwing at you. And if you start telling yourself this stuff like, oh my God, this is hard, I'm not going to make it, I'm feeling myself getting weaker, my legs are dying, my shoulder hurts, you know. Well, that person next to me is stronger, I'm weaker, so I'm not going to be able to stand as much. You know, I'm not really good at this push-ups or chin-ups or whatever excuse it is. I've got bad this, bad that, right? Like all this stuff. And, and chances are it's not just one thing. There's probably like all that stuff that I just said, like blah, 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 just kind of coming at you nonstop. So the next time you're in a workout and you're experiencing that pain, we're not talking about physical acute sharp pain, we're talking about muscular fatigue, mental pain, a little bit of exhaustion, going like, oh my god, really? Do I really have to finish this? The answer is yes, and I want you to start switching your brain. One of the things I kept yelling this morning and encouraging people with was, what are you telling yourself? I want to hear what you're thinking right now in the middle of this exercise, in the middle of this sprint, what is going through your head and just hearing some of the things that people were saying back to me. And we were reprogramming and I'm having them yell out things like, I got this, I'm feeling strong, I am solid, I'm focused, I'm going to finish this, right? Fast, uh, flowing, all of the things that you want to feel and create, you just keep telling yourself that, you keep pouring that language into your head as you're working out, as you're doing that sprint, as you're on that bike ride, right? And this applies to everything. You know, I do this, I do this because I love 
to have a strong body that enables me to live life. Those of you who know me know that I love to mountain bike, I love to road ride, I love to water ski. Last weekend I learned how to surf, which was super fun, and then I decided that I needed to go wake surfing behind the boat, and that was even more fun. So I love to water ski, and you know, every time I get up on that one ski, I gotta talk myself into it because it's so easy to say, oh, I'm not gonna be able to do it, right? And I had the same experience with the kids last weekend where we were on the lake. Right away, you throw the kids in with the skis and it's like, I haven't done this in forever. I'm not gonna be able to get up. And what do you think happens? I haven't done this in forever. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Boom, you fall, right? You get in the water or you get in the room, you get in the workout room and you say, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna be able to stand up. And I've programmed myself that now when I hit the water, I'm like, all right, I am solid, I feel stable, I'm grounded, my shoulders are back, my core is tight, and I'm gonna just totally crush this. And that is all I focus on, and just like that, you get out of the water. For me, it's skiing. For you, it might be being able to run around the block, or walk, or run your first 10K. It might be getting through the workout. But I want to ask you, how are you showing up? How are you showing up in your workouts? How are you showing up in life? How are you showing up in your relationships? How are you showing up when it's time to eat and pick your choices? Are you showing up with the same excuses of like, well, I don't know what to eat. This is probably fattening. Like what excuses do you keep coming up with? It's time to start switching that mindset around. So the three components for success with fitness are how you move your body. You got to move your body. We got all these joints for a reason. What you put in your body, because it's what gives you energy, what helps you recover, what re reduces pain, what primes your brain, right? Gives you that physique you want. Flat belly is made in the kitchen. But none of that's going to matter if your head's in the wrong place. So remember, you don't fatigue, you don't fail, you don't stop because you get physically tired. You stop because you get mentally tired, you get mentally fatigued. Mentally, you just stop, you hit your roadblock. The next time you're in your workout, I wanna ask you, where's my mental roadblock? What's my threshold? Can I, can I nudge myself? Can I nudge a little bit more? And the beauty of it is, every time you nudge it, you set a new, a new standard, a new baseline, and then you can nudge it a bit more. So I'm not saying you have to do a complete overhaul here. We, not, we don't need to reinvent everything about you or about me. This is a process that's taken me many years. I'm continuing to constantly develop it and work on it myself. And this is why I love sport. This is why I love fitness, because I think physically when you can challenge yourself, it gives you the opportunity to do that. And every time you accomplish a new goal for me, whether it's been surfing lately or, or cycling or doing a new race or whatever, you know, new fun thing that I'm trying out, it makes me feel that much more confident, builds that much more self-esteem. It makes me feel like, you know what? I got this. I own this. So I want you to own this. I want to, again, challenge you this week to own your workout, own your exercise, own your health. Okay? Right now, take a look at your body. Take a look at your state of wellness. Take a look at your health. You are exactly where you are because of the things and the choices that you've made. Okay, if you're coming to the workouts and the results aren't coming fast enough, I have to ask you, what effort level are you putting in? At what point do you give up? Right? I gotta ask you, what choices do you make when you go out to eat and everybody else is eating and drinking whatever they want? Are you being true to what you want for yourself? Or is your head getting in the way? Are you talking trash to yourself? Are you talking bad about yourself, right? So if you hear this voice in your head and you wouldn't say it to the person next to you, would you say to the person next to you, you're weak, you're tired, you look like crap, look at you, you look, you're still fat, you've been working out forever, you're still overweight, this isn't gonna work. No, you're like, I am strong, I'm getting leaner, I'm, look at my muscles, I'm developing strength, I'm, de I'm getting more grounded, more stable. I'm sure of myself, right? So I would love to hear from you guys. I would love for you to comment below. Tell me some of the ways that you are working on your mindset, some of the key phrases that you are using. What have you learned about yourself this week? What has been going on through your head? And what are you doing to switch it around to continue to improve it? All right, so remember, movement, food as nourishment, mindset, and you are going to rock your fitness and your health. All right, so again, this is Christine Line from PushFit Studio. I am here to help you, to empower you, to live a life in a body that just 
it enables you to do all of the things that you love, feeling good, feeling lean, feeling strong, feeling confident. Go out there, live with passion. Until next time, have a great day.